Ah, there you are. <laughs> no, you're quite all right. I haven't been waiting here long. All right. How are you doing? I'm not sure if you wanted to skip the formalities and go straight to business, or if you just want to grab a few drinks while we talk all the nitty gritty details over. Sounds like a plan. Okay. <clears throat> well, before I forget, my name is Arathon. Mercenary, warrior, meat shield, whatever you need. So long as I live to see the end of it and I get paid, happy to work under you. <laughs> right. You know, my boss was pretty impressed by the amount of gold you were throwing around, just for one man. I figure he assumes me the best because, well, I'm the one he sent. Yeah, me and him go way back. <laughs> but that's a story for another time. Might as well talk out the deal and see where this is all going to go. So, want to grab a drink, kick back, and uh, hash everything out? All right. Okay. So, what is it that you are after? I mean, you gotta be after something. I've seen the look in your eye. You're ambitious, but not just for no reason. The dragon's heart? What? D I thought that was long lost after the Dragon Wars. I mean, I assume someone used it and burnt it up or something, but... How do you know whatever you're hunting is real? You know, if it was anybody else, I'd be saying that you were bullshitting me right now, but you're in possession of something pretty damn good here with this paper. It's got the seal. Now, any rookie would have used a modern seal just to make it look official. Now, this is genuine. This has to be hundreds of years old. This marking has been in commission for a while now. And uh, either way, you're paying me, so. So long as I get paid and I do my work fine enough, whether the treasure is real or phony and you give up, well, I'm just happy to come along for the ride. <laughs> not that I'm saying it's not real, it's just you have to be cautious with these things. Besides, Dragonheart's a pretty dangerous thing. The power to infuse someone with draconic abilities and features. May I remind you what the dragons did to us so long ago? Yeah, <laughs> nearly burned down the entire world. Just because the mortals were starting to get tired of bending over backwards for them. Or so the story goes. History is written by the victors after all. And. Huh. Might be a bit of a controversial opinion, but uh, I don't think extinction is exactly deserved as a price for losing war. <laughs> war is something that should grow people stronger. Though a part of life, it's unavoidable. You might as well gain something from it. Power, strength, 
unity, something like that. Not many people see it that way. I mean, after all, war is an ugly thing. The only thing you see from it is looking over the hill and seeing villages being pillaged, houses burned down, men, women, and children fleeing, screaming, crying. It can look nasty, but a good war, well, it can work wonders. But then again, I'm a mercenary. I'm hired out to help with those wars, and, well, my boss, he's working on something. Can't say what, but he promises that one day war will benefit us all in the long run. For now, you, you're hunting the dragon's heart, and you're hiring me for a reason, which makes me think that you're not the only one with the lead. Is that correct? Good to know. I figured because, well, something this powerful, the moment it comes out, people are going to be racing to beat everyone else to it, and then who knows what they're going to end up doing with it. But if we get there first, well, we'll see how things go. So long as you don't infuse yourself with draconic power and burn me down, I'll be happy to help you every step of the way. Yeah, there's rumors on what the draconic heart does, but... Well, let's hope that it doesn't ruin that pretty face of yours, hmm? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Alright, so... I believe you will be handing out the gold you agreed upon. It'll go to my boss, and, well, whatever I need will go to me. We can talk more about my boss and his dynamics later, but for now, we'll need a place to stay. You can afford it, right? No worries if you can't. I don't do a whole lot with gold myself, so... I can probably afford us a room, but... Thing is, it might be... A room. Yeah. No worry, I can take the chair if you need me to. Sounds like a plan. Now you get your beauty sleep, and we'll go over more tomorrow, but from where I'm standing, looks like a done deal. All right. I suppose we'll head out tomorrow. Might as well get on the road. And if you need anything else, let me know. I'm at your service. Whatever you need, all the way up until we get the dragon's heart, it will be yours. <laughs> Lovely. Alright. I'll go get us a room and we'll rest for the night. And I suppose we can talk more on the road tomorrow. All right. I'll see you there. I'll come back with the key and, well, we'll kick back for the night. Hey everyone, thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this audio, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything helps. This is the start of a new audio series that I wanted to make, just something a little more simple and uh, less, I guess, heavy than my previous projects, but still a lot of fun and like a longer form story, but just more relaxed on like the scripting work side of it, more improv and uh, just like chilled out than super plot heavy than Mind Flare or Starline 2 or anything like that, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it and hope you look forward to the later parts. 
But in the meantime, I want to give a special thanks to the following patrons on the Diplomat and Higher tier. Lungirl, Kitty243, Misk Chan, Spud Muffin, Clarabelle Pagan, Aleswith, Tal Maria, MG, Deborah Bossard, Silverhawk EG, Christopher Stevens, Christy Hall, Miss Effie, Patrice Gilton, Helios Flame, K, Mia Khan, GD, Wannabe Bunny Girl, Safadil, Ravioli Senpai, Freaky Flatwoods, Ray Brightscales, Manda, Rem, Jenga Power, Ellie Fafeli, Sydney Scott, Radio Cassidy, Adam Ferguson, and Luis Wisman. Again, those are all my patrons on the Diplomat and Higher tier, and if you want to join them, link to the Patreons in the description below. But that's all for now. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.